this video, I'm gonna be building a giant ecosphere with rare shrimp. This setup requires no filter, no CO2, and minimal water changes. If you watch my channel, you know that I've built a wall-stead bowl before. And since that video, I've received hundreds of questions asking how you can build one too. The only problem is we're gonna need a lot of plants to make this work. I also have rare shrimp on the way, so we need to get moving. Before we can start building, we need to find a bowl. After doing some research, I found an event planning supplier that sells giant bowl-shaped faces. Okay, so they don't have the largest bowl in stock. I'm gonna give them a call and see if they have any more coming in. After a few minutes on hold, I finally got through to someone. They're checking their inventory. I'm so nervous. The shop confirmed that they have one more unit on hand. This is awesome. The next day, the bowl arrived. This white sand will make for a beautiful floor in our ecosphere. But we have one small problem. A lot of the plants we're using have roots and this sand doesn't have the nutrients they need to grow. Thankfully, we can use root tabs to get them the nutrients they need. These will really help them thrive. It's time to add our hardscape. Oh no, this dragonstone is so dirty. If we add it straight into the tank, it will pollute the water, which will be bad for our shrimp. Let's give them a rinse before we add them to the tank. This will take some time, but it'll be worth it in the end. Let's add our stones into our ecosphere. These have a beautiful texture and I absolutely love them. Our shrimp have arrived a day early. We're not quite done building our ecosphere, so this could be a problem. Thankfully, I have a quarantine tank set up and ready for them. These painted fire shrimp are bright red and rare to find. I'm acclimating them for the quarantine tank. This just means getting them used to the new tank water. Let's get back to setting up their new home. This substrate in a mesh bag will help get extra nutrients to our stem plants at the back of the tank. Since we're using the wall stead method, it's absolutely critical we use a lot of live plants in our setup. In a normal tank, filters clean the water, but we're not using a filter in this tank. We're letting nature do the work. I ordered over $500 of plants to bring our ecosphere to life with some greenery. These will help to remove harmful compounds from the water, minimizing water changes. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's finally time to fill up our giant bowl. This is always my favorite part of setting up a new tank. Our tank water is cold and our shrimp are gonna need a heater. This preset heater will help us control the water temperature. Let's also add stress coat to make our tap water safe. And typically, a tank needs to cycle before we can add new fish. But this can take weeks. Thankfully, we can use Quick Start to jumpstart our cycle. This will allow for instant addition of our shrimp. It's been a few weeks and our bowl looks like a lush jungle. Everything is looking great so far. There's only one more thing to do. Test our water parameters to make sure our ecosphere is ready for our shrimp. Regular water testing is critical to ensure your fish are safe and happy. This should be done periodically, not just when you set up your fish tank. With the help of our test kit, we can ensure our water parameters look as expected. It's finally time to add our shrimp to our ecosphere bowl. I can't wait to see what they think of their new home. Let's drip acclimate them one final time. Shrimp are super sensitive, so this is an important step. Look, here they go. They're loving their planted oasis. We just made a giant ecosphere bowl. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week.